looks like there's nobody in the waiting room. So I think we'll just uh, get right to it. So good to uh, see so many of you, uh, students, new graduates, friends, family, faculty, and staff. Uh, thank you all for joining us in this brief online ceremony to honor some of our most outstanding uh, undergraduate students. I'm Mark Swihart, the current chair of UB Chemical and Biological Engineering. Um, like so much that we do this day, these days, this is an event that we ordinarily do in person, um, but that we had to move online just for this year. Um, I'm happy to see that participation seems to be about as high as it would be when we were doing it in person. Uh, so I know people weren't just coming for the uh, coffee and cookies. Um, I'd just like to say a couple of things before we start. Um, the students that we honor today are not just among the best students in our program, uh, but are really competitive with the top students from any chemical engineering program in the country. Um, our undergraduates, our graduate students, our faculty uh, regularly receive national recognition for excellence in their scholarly pursuits uh, from our undergraduates that are awarded National Science Foundation uh, graduate research fellowships to go on to graduate studies, uh, to our professors that are being named fellows and winning national awards from uh, various scientific societies. Um, and the undergrads that we honor today are going to soon matriculate into the top graduate programs in our country or begin their careers at top companies um, or continue here for their senior year, as the case may be. Um, and really in the challenging times that uh, we're facing right now worldwide, uh, these students are among the best prepared and most capable members of their generation. And really these are the people with the problem solving skills, the work ethic, the technical knowledge uh, that's gonna be essential to addressing uh, society's greatest needs. Um, and so we should all really take pride in uh, these students' accomplishments and celebrate them. Um, so in just a second, I'm going to hand the program over to uh, David Kofke, SUNY Distinguished Professor in our department and our current Director of Undergraduate Studies. Um, he'll announce the various awards and say a few words about the recipients. So if you are a recipient and you want to, you can unmute yourself and say hi, wave to the camera or what have you. Um, don't feel obligated to do that. If you see your award and your name coming up and you want to do that, maybe use the raise your hand function, which probably you're very familiar with by now, um, so that I can try to find you and, and spotlight your uh, video. Um, otherwise, I'll try to make sure everybody stays uh, muted so we don't have any awkward Zoom uh, mishaps. Um, if you like, you should be able to go into the split screen view if you wanna be able to see like the PowerPoint over here and the video over here. Again, probably you've all gotten the hang of that by now after this uh, half a semester of online education. So um, with that, I'll hand it over to Dave. Dave, take it away. Okay, thank you very much, Mark, and uh, welcome to all of you, all the students and parents and, and uh, uh, faculty who, who have joined us today. Um, so I just want to point out that uh, while I'm going over this, I'm going to be sort of looking at a different screen from what everyone else is looking at. So, you know, again, Mark uh, indicated that, you know, if, if the students or the awardees have anything they want to say, and again, there's absolutely no pressure, no obligation to say anything, uh, but if you want to do that, um, you know, and if you raise your hand, I'm not going to be able to see it. So just barge in, you know, just talk over me. Feel free to go ahead and do that uh, if you get unmuted. Uh, and I uh, can stop and, and let you have, uh, you know, whatever you wish to say. Uh, okay, so uh, as we go through this, you uh, have a program. Perhaps you have that in front of you. Uh, we're going to take this in order where we begin sort of from the end and work our way back to the beginning uh, of, of the program. We're going to start with the SEAS awards, uh, the, the awards given by the, the School of Engineering uh, that have been won by some of our students, and uh, then work our way back to um, you know, the Chemical Engineering Awards. So uh, without further ado, let me start uh, by announcing the Professor, Professor Charles M. Fogel Scholarship Fund awardee. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the award. Um, 
Uh, Professor Charles Spogel uh, enjoyed a distinguished and productive career as a member of the UB faculty for 41 years. Uh, at the time of his retirement in 1984, he had been the longest serving UB faculty member. So he was uh, a faculty in civil engineering, uh, but during his long tenure, he served in several uh, school and university-wide positions. And his dedication to the university was recognized by numerous university awards. Uh, he also served in various capacities for many community organizations well into his 90s. Uh, as uh, he was quoted as saying, I am just an average individual who tries to follow the adage of service above self. Uh, he said that in a 2005 interview. He, he also said, you know, I find that uh, doing so not only helps others, uh, but makes the world a more pleasant, healthy, and friendly place, uh, but is also fun and fulfilling. So the awardee for uh, the Vogel Scholarship uh, was Amran Omar, who I believe was not able to attend today. Um, I will point out that we are recording this, and um, so you'll be able to share it with uh, your friends and family who may not be able to tune in now. Uh, and again, also those um, students who are not uh, able to attend should be able to, to look at this later. So Amron was planning to go on a congressional program to Germany, uh, but like a lot of other things, that's not happening. Uh, so for now, he plans to enter uh, industry, get an industrial position in the fall. He'd like to start a career in sustainable energy, particularly fuel cells. And in a couple of years, he'd like to go back to college and obtain a higher degree either in the United States or Europe. Okay, so, oh, one other point. Uh, I'm gonna ask you all to uh, hold your applause until the very end, uh, and that way we can all feel a little bit less awkward of the fact that we can't applaud uh, in between all of these because we're doing this on Zoom. So uh, again, I'll just uh, try to keep going and we'll just sort of applaud silently uh, to ourselves. So the next award is the Lester Gerhardt Memorial Scholarship. This was established by Karen R. Gerhardt in memory of her husband, Lester, uh, who got a PhD in 1969 from the School of Engineering. He was a distinguished academic and, a, and an honored UB alumnus. The fund support, supports experiential learning opportunities locally and abroad for undergraduate students in the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Uh, Sciences. Uh, students must propose an enriching activity in line with their academic program. So the awardee of the Gerhardt Memorial Scholarship is, this year is Vin Bui. Uh, Vin came to us from SUNY Orange where he did tutoring in math, chemistry, and uh, physics uh, as part of extracurricular activities. He's part of the math club at UB. He did research in the lab of Professor Hai Ching Lin. Uh, and he will be coming back to UB in the fall. Uh, he's entered our PhD program and uh, we're looking forward to having him join us um, uh, in a couple months again. So congratulations, Vin. The next award uh, is the George Norton uh, SEAS Scholarship uh, um, from the, the Scholarship Fund uh, in this name. This was established in 2011 uh, by the last will and testament of George H. Norton, who got his bachelor's degree um, in mechanical engineering in 1948. So the awardee of the Norton Scholarship Fund is Manraj Barn. So uh, Manraj uh, uh, served this year as the president of the student chapter of the American Institute of Chemical Engineers, and she contributed enormously uh, to our department as we try to navigate through this rather strange semester. So she was one of um, a handful of students that we often turn to for advice and feedback about how things were going. And we certainly appreciated the input that she gave there. So I'm not sure everything we did was right, uh, but what we did I think was made much better by Manraj's input. So Manraj is uh, planning to obtain an industrial position in chemical engineering uh, upon graduation. So thank you, Manraj, and congratulations. Okay, so um, next is the David M. Benenson Memorial Scholarship. This was established in 2002 by Lydia K. Benenson, Kathleen A. Ratcliffe, and Patricia B. J. Bernecki, uh, the wife and daughters of Dr. David M. Benenson. Uh, the awardee of this must be an engineering major who has completed an internship in the past year. They must have at least a 3-2 GPA uh, in the core curriculum and demonstrate strong leadership qualities and the ability to work in teams. 
So the awardee this year is Gabrielle Santoro. Um, Gabrielle uh, was very excited to get this award because in particular uh, of its requirements included an internship experience, uh, which she just completed. Uh, she describes that as one of the best experiences she's ever had. Uh, it was at the R&D lab for the personal care department of KDC One Comar in her hometown of Port Jervis, New York. Um, uh, Gabrielle learned a lot about the cosmetic industry and she hopes someday to be a part of, of that in her career. Um, she would actually like to launch her own company uh, uh, in uh, cosmetics uh, with organic and innovative products. Um, before she left campus this semester, uh, she was working on research in the lab of Dr. Alexandritis, uh, looking at polymer and, uh, polymers and surfactant interactions. So there's a lot of physical chemistry in cosmetics, so that's very appropriate. Um, so this was her first experience doing research, and she really enjoyed doing it. Uh, she was working specifically on fluorescence experiments. So congratulations, uh, Gabrielle, and uh, we'll look forward to many good things uh, from you in the future. So the next award is the Barbara and Jack Davis Engineering Education Fund Scholarship. Uh, this was established in 2012 by Mr. John R. Davis, uh, Jr., who uh, got his BS in engineering in 1955, I believe electrical engineering, uh, and Mrs. Barbara J. Davis. Uh, the recipient must be from one of uh, the counties in the larger Buffalo, Rochester region. And you may, um, uh, those of you familiar with the campus may recognize the, the Davis name as also being um, the name of our newest engineering building, Davis Hall, which is named in his honor. So the recipient of the, um, uh, the Davis Engineering Education Scholarship uh, is Nicholas Fabiano. Uh, so Nick will be a sophomore this fall. Uh, he just finished his first year and he's been, um, spent a lot of his uh, past several years through high school and, uh, um, and uh, I think in entering into to UB, working actually at a summer camp, uh, Camp Hickory Hill, uh, and he found that to be an amazing experience, and I'm um, sure he'll bring that enthusiasm to what he's doing in chemical engineering as well. Okay, so that concludes all of the so-called SEAS uh, sort of centered awards. Those are awards that are administered through the School of Engineering. They are based on funds that um, you know, were developed and, and, and provided uh, to the school, and they are generally given to uh, students in you know, any of the engineering majors. So the, the remaining awards that I'll be going through are all awards that are, you know, particular to chemical engineers, uh, chemical engineering, and these are all awards that were, uh, again, awarded to our students, uh, and they are every year. So let me begin with the uh, Western New York American Chemical Society Distinguished Student Award. Uh, and this is given to a student uh, in chemical engineering who has excelled in studies uh, while showing a strong interest in chemistry. And again, as the name uh, indicates, it is uh, endowed and, and sort of managed through the local Western New York chapter of the American Chemical Society. So the awardee this year is Joshua Hazelness. Uh, so Josh actually was the inaugural, the inaugural recipient of the Ferlani Scholarship last year. And we'll be talking about that before we're done today, the Ferlani Scholarship. Uh, and he's also a recent recipient of a prestigious NSF graduate fellowship, which he plans to use uh, as he attends the University of Michigan uh, to pursue a PhD in chemistry. So again, very strong interest in chemistry, obviously, uh, in line with the theme of the award. So while at UB, Josh performed undergraduate research, uh, first in the lab of Professor Lund early in his time at UB, and then later he moved into the lab of Professor Cook uh, who is in the chemistry department. He did some very nice work there. So uh, Josh, I will add also, was a big help in our recruiting efforts uh, this year. So thank you for that, Josh, and congratulations, and we're looking forward to some great things from you at Michigan. Moving on, uh, the CBE uh, Chemical and Biological Engineering uh, Junior Academic Excellence Award uh, so this is awarded to juniors uh, who the department wants to recognize, uh, but we don't, you know, have a lot of other named awards. So we, we decided to establish um, uh, departmental awards that are specifically for recognizing outstanding juniors. And we also have a corresponding uh, award for the seniors. 
So we have uh, a few students that we've recognized uh, this way this year, uh, and I will just uh, again be going through those. Uh, these are in alphabetical order. So the first of these is Miles Allen. Uh, Miles conducted an internship uh, at Finch Paper LLC last summer. Uh, his, his main project was to create a book of uh, common defects in the paper uh, so that the machine tenders uh, could determine why the paper was coming off the machines uh, was not so good and, and then find a way to correct this. So ultimately you'd like to work in a field that can have a positive impact on the environment. Our next awardee in this category is uh, Jacob Carbone. Uh, Jacob joined a club called Nanosat uh, this past summer at UB, where the team focused on using the strengths of each person to develop a satellite. Uh, he was on the thermal team and um, you know, in line, of course, with what you know, we teach in, in chemical engineering. Uh, the, so he did that this semester and mostly worked on uh, learning the software used to test the thermal limitations of the satellite. He also coached a modified uh, basketball team uh, for school in Rochester, for a school in Rochester throughout the fall semester. And he volunteered during the spring semester before the COVID cancellations for about 20 hours a week in a basketball program for kids at a local Rochester church. Uh, he has career interests in working on the development of renewable energy, and he's excited to help better the lives of our communities through what he has learned during his time at UB and through uh, his work as a future chemical engineer. So that's what we love to hear. Uh, next awardee is Casey Grosso. Um, so Casey is working in the lab of Dr. Parashurama uh, in his lab um, uh, doing bio-oriented research. Uh, she was also this year's treasurer uh, for the AICHE, the student club. And uh, she's going to be the vice president, was recently elected to the office of vice president, uh, again, of the student AICG club. Uh, for careers, uh, she's hoping to go into biotechnology or the pharmaceutical industry. And she was um, um, also very helpful to our department uh, in our recruiting efforts this year. Uh, next, uh, among our junior academic excellence awardees is Robert Jankowiak. So Robert uh, performed undergraduate research while at UB, and he's had a uh, summer position at the Great Lakes Environmental and Safety Consultants, uh, Inc., uh, doing air sampling and managing the relevant data. So um, uh, he'll be, again, entering the, the senior year, and we'll, we'll see what that brings. So uh, congratulations, Robert, and um, keep up the great work. Uh, the next awardee uh, is Jacob McWinney. Um, so this summer, uh, like a lot of uh, us, his, his plans had changed. He was supposed to have an internship at Beech Nuts, but again, due to the pandemic, uh, he isn't going to be able to do that. Um, so at school, he's part of the AICHE club, uh, and he takes part in the so-called Kemi Car team uh, uh, during this past year. So that's uh, the Kemi car. Those of you who may not have heard about this is a, um, is a, a national contest of sorts, an engineering type contest where students uh, try to design a car to certain specifications or requirements. And they go on to regional and national uh, competitions with other uh, chemical engineering clubs at other universities um, to try to um, uh, you know, show their off their engineering skills. So I, I won't go into it in further details, but uh, it's kind of a neat uh, sort of project, the contest that has been set up and has been ongoing uh, throughout the country uh, for many years. So we've had a lot of uh, activity in that in, in, at UB, and it's great to see um, students like Jacob who are uh, continuing that. So uh, during the past two summers, he worked at Lowe's in the paint department, and he was part of their inventory team for two years uh, and part of an overnight craftsman reset that they had last year. All right, so uh, next, um, the Junior Academic Excellence Awardee will be Scott Reese. So after graduation, Scott plans to start out uh, either as a, uh, at a large-scale chemical production or pharmaceutical company. Uh, he's enjoyed the chemical engineering curriculum, most uh, notably the chemical engineering labs very much for the first year, three years. Um, so um, yeah, that's, that's nice uh, to hear that type of feedback. So thank you, Scott. Um, so the last of the uh, junior academics excellence awardees will be uh, Sarah Wormer. 
Uh, Sarah was involved uh, in the tinkering labs at UB. Um, several students who did that, where they sort of go and, and do a project that involves sort of hands-on work. Uh, so she's interested in going into the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, she's always been interested in health and medicine. Uh, and, and her interest in this in industry has only uh, increased uh, given, of course, the recent events with the pandemic, which, as we all know, chemical engineers uh, have a lot of skills to, to help um, in addressing the problems associated with that. All right, so um, good luck uh, with all of your future studies in that direction, Sarah. We, we look forward to good things there. Um, so congratulations once more to all of the uh, Junior Academic Excellence Awardees. Uh, now we can move on uh, to the seniors. So um, first I'll begin with the CBE uh, Senior Leadership Award. Uh, so this is a word that sort of calls out uh, some of our seniors who have shown outstanding leadership qualities. And uh, the awardee here is one that uh, we saw earlier who received one of the uh, School of Engineering Awards. Uh, this is Manraj Barn. So again, Manraj served as the president of the student chapter of AICHE, and we are very grateful to her for all of the uh, help and, and advice that she provided to the department as we've sort of navigated through this semester. All right, so now on to the CBE Senior Academic Excellence Awards, and these are awarded to seniors who have excelled in their chemical engineering studies. So the first of these uh, is Brian Balzano. Uh, so Brian will be moving to Delaware uh, in July uh, to begin work as an entry-level instrumentation and controls engineer uh, for Sargent and Lundy under their nuclear division. So um, good luck uh, as you move on to that, uh, that work, Brian. So the next awardee is uh, Timothy Buchanan. So uh, Tim was active in the UB Wrestling Club and participated in acti activities of the AICHE student chapter, which I've mentioned before. And he was also involved in the Chemi car team and he attended one of the at least one of the, the regional um, uh, meetings, this one at Penn State. Uh, he's now enrolled uh, for the fall semester in the thesis-based MS, MS program, uh, our graduate program here at UB, pr pursuing a master's degree. Uh, and for the summary, it's a strong possibility uh, for temporary work at a distillery. So that could be interesting. Again, another one of the interesting areas where chemical engineers find their applications. Uh, our next uh, Senior Academic Excellence awardee is um, Olua Toyin Campbell. Uh, so while at UB, Toyin was active in the UB chapter of SWE, the Society for Women Engineers. She served as secretary of the organization, and she also performed undergraduate research in the lab of, I believe, Dr. Cheng. Uh, Toyin has been accepted into a, uh, the PhD program in our department, and we're looking forward to, to having her uh, here for a few more years to pursue that degree. So congratulations, Toyin. So the next awardee uh, is Michael Janak. So Michael did an internship at GP Strategies over 15 months while at UB, um, working on software for monitoring power plants. Uh, after graduation, he will be continuing as a chemical engineer at uh, GP Strategies. Uh, it seems that they liked him and he liked them. Uh, so he's going to continue his work there in the area of process monitoring and process troubleshooting. Our next awardee of the Senior Academic Excellence Award is Connor Kellner. So Connor has been involved in a lot of volunteer work while at UB. He's contributed on a research project uh, in molecular simulation with uh, Professor Arrington and uh, studying the phase behavior of octane using molecular modeling methods. Uh, and he was also involved with the Tinkering Intramural Project coordinated with NOCO uh, to optimize a process uh, that uses their oil emulsions. Congratulations, Connor. So the next awardee is Robert Karisitz. Uh, Robert performed undergraduate research uh, with Professor Lin while doing volunteer work for the Western New York community. Uh, he also did a tinkering project on analysis of de-icing salt used on the UB North Campus, uh, determining the optimal amount of salt to completely melt the layer, uh, ice layers on the roadways. 
uh, after graduation, he's going to be searching for a position in the chemical engineering industry. Uh, next uh, is uh, Peter Conrad. Uh, Peter performed undergraduate research in uh, reaction and separations engineering using membrane reactors using MATLAB, uh, the uh, mathematical software that our students learn about uh, during their time here. And after graduation, he's planning on working uh, at Global Foundries as a process engineer. Congratulations, Peter. Uh, the next uh, awardee is uh, Quan Hong Min Lei. Uh, Quan uh, performed community service uh, with Sciences Elementary and uh, Engineering World Health. Uh, he performed research in Professor Park's lab, uh, making recombinant plasmids, and then one summer at the University of Cambridge, uh, looking at asymmetric division in yeast cells. Quan is uh, planning to go to grad school, uh, doing a PhD in biomedical engineering at uh, Boston University starting this fall. So we'd like to dedicate his thanks uh, to Dr. Park uh, for mentoring him and uh, for everyone else who helped him along the way. So um, next uh, is Jacob Nikula. So Jake worked at environmental health and safety uh, while at UB and he performed uh, several internships. There was one in Rochester with Rochester Midland, uh, one in Niagara Falls with Niaset, uh, and uh, one in Orchard Park with Kerbel Plastics. So he's had a lot of uh, industrial experience. So he's currently seeking employment at an engineering or technical sales position somewhere in New York State. Uh, so the next awardee uh, is Stephen Pike. So Stephen did undergraduate research in biochemistry, uh, studying the mechanism of DNA repair. He's looking to perform graduate study in bioengineering, and in the fall, he'll be starting a PhD program in experimental and molecular medicine, uh, focusing on neuroscience uh, at Dartmouth. So congratulations, Stephen. We'll be looking forward to great things from you as well. And finally, the last of the Senior Academic Excellence Awards uh, goes to Austin Reese. So Austin uh, performed an internship at Damien Inc. Uh, this is a startup in the Baird Park Incubator, and he was involved in a biosfuel project while on campus to convert, to convert algae to hydrogen. In August 2020, Austin uh, will be starting his PhD in chemical and biological engineering at Cornell, uh, where he will be studying and doing research uh, for the next five years. Uh, he's intending to do research in renewable energy and ideally in photocatalysis. Congratulations, Austin. And actually, congratulations to all of our Senior Academic Excellence awardees. Um, okay, so uh, moving on. Um, we now have our uh, Western New York chapter of the American Institute of Chemical Engineers, uh, the local section uh, here is active. And one of the things they are active doing is helping us to recognize uh, our outstanding juniors and seniors. So they have a, an award that they sponsor uh, for uh, each uh, class. And um, so the next we will be going over uh, the awardees for the AICHE um, Western New York local section outstanding junior and senior. So um, I should add that the award is based on uh, academic performance, um, the likelihood to pursue a career in chemical engineering, because um, not all chemical engineers uh, decide to follow sort of the traditional track. Uh, some go on to be lawyers or doctors or, or other types of positions. Uh, so this uh, award tries to focus on students who are likely to follow uh, a chemical engineering sort of traditional career. And also, um, they look for students who are participating in the AICHE student chapter. And they also won't allow us to give it to the junior and then again, the same person as a senior. So uh, the junior awardee, Melanie, uh, is Melanie Raganese. Um, so Melanie um, uh, has done a lot uh, of things while at UB. It's been involved in a lot of activities. Uh, perhaps the biggest thing is running uh, the Chemi car. I've, again, described to you the Chemi car uh, project or, or uh, team. So she has been the main organizer and leader of that group uh, this year. Uh, and she's been on the uh, AICHE sort of executive board uh, this year as well, which you know comes with that. 
So she's been involved with the AICHE, the student club, since her freshman year here. And we really encourage our freshmen to get involved uh, early uh, because they can make friends and contacts with the upperclassmen pretty quickly. Uh, she's also a student leader for uh, some of the freshman classes, the AS199 and 202. She started to, uh, to do research with Professor Pfeiffer uh, in this semester, prior uh, to the closing. Um, uh, but at this point, she hasn't decided uh, whether she wants to go into grad school or uh, go into uh, an industrial position. Um, uh, she, she says she finds a lot of areas of chemical engineering interesting, and she hasn't found sort of one that just sort of sticks out as uh, the, the obvious one to go into. So she had, again, a uh, familiar story, had planned an internship at Bristol uh, this summer, but again, their internship program was canceled entirely, uh, so that uh, threw things into um, uh, limbo for now. So Melanie, I, I will add, I've mentioned a few students who were really critical to us in sort of guiding, uh, helping us to, to get through um, you know, the, the unusual semester. And Melanie was certainly one of the key people that we turned to for feedback about how the juniors were doing and, and uh, uh, helping us to, to try to make sure that we were doing the right things uh, for them. So again, we're very grateful to her for that and we look forward to more leadership from Melanie in the coming year. Okay, now turning to the Outstanding uh, Senior Award of the AICHE Western New York chapter. So this goes to uh, Shatoni Ross. So Shatoni has been the social chair uh, for the past year for the student AICHE chapter. Uh, she spent a semester studying abroad at the University of Sheffield in the UK, and she's performed undergraduate research in the lab of per Professor Parashurama. She's currently seeking employment in industry and she plans on working uh, more on the bio side of chemical engineering. Um, she wants to point out that uh, Professor Parashurama has been a real mentor uh, to her and has helped her to decide what industry she would like to uh, work for. So that again highlights, I, I think one of the important roles that uh, we in the faculty of chemical engineering uh, take very seriously is to not just you know, help our students with the technical side, you know, just, you know, going through the classes and doing the assignments and understanding how to, uh, you know, to do the technical aspects of chemical engineering, but we also try to provide, you know, mentorship and advice uh, for career uh, development. Um, so it's nice to, to see that that was effective in, in, this, in this case. All right, so we're down to our, our last two awards. Um, so, um, uh, the first of these um, is uh, the Professor Edward P. Ferlani uh, Scholarship. And this is one of two annual scholarships that was established by Karen Ferlani uh, in tribute to her husband and former UB uh, School of Engineering Professor Edward P. Ferlani. So Professor Ferlani unfortunately passed away in 2018, uh, but this per fund uh, provides a legacy that allows his impact on undergraduate education to continue in perpetuity. This takes the form of two annual scholarships to deserving undergraduate students, uh, one from CDE, our department, and one from electrical engineering where Professor Forlani had a joint appointment. Uh, one thing we look for uh, in this award are students who uh, do plan to go on uh, to graduate school to pursue a career in research. So the awardee of the second uh, uh, Ferlani scholarship um, coming this year, the first of course being last year, the inaugural, uh, is William O'Brien. So Billy enjoys uh, tutoring chemistry, uh, calculus, and physics in small groups for freshman engineers with Bill Wild, uh, who runs our uh, student excellence um, program uh, within the School of Engineering. Uh, and Billy also plays uh, club baseball. Uh, he had been accepted into a summer REU program at the University of Florida for nanotechnology, but guess what? Uh, that was unfortunately canceled uh, again due to the pandemic. Anyway, after graduation, Billy would like to go on to graduate school, uh, and he will likely focus on an emerging energy, uh, sorry, alternative, you know, you know, excuse me, an emerging alternative energy. So um, congratulations, Billy. Uh, this is uh, a really very fine award, and we're very glad to, uh, grateful to the Falani family 
uh, for endowing this. And uh, it gives us a lot of pleasure to be able to recognize outstanding students with it. And last but not least uh, is the Professor Thomas W. Weber Undergraduate Excellence Award. So this award was created in 2017 as a result of a generous endowment uh, from Dr. Mohan Balodia. Uh, and this was done in honor of Emeritus faculty member, Thomas, uh, Professor Thomas Weber. Uh, he was a founding member and a real pillar of our department from 1963 until 2000 when he retired. Um, the award recognizes undergraduate excellence as measured by academic performance and other accomplishments. Uh, the hope is that through this award over the years, we can gradually uh, bring awareness uh, to the culture of excellence uh, that we have here at UB. So uh, I just want to add personally, this uh, award is particularly meaningful to me. Uh, Professor Weber uh, hired me. He's uh, the person who actually um, I was department chair uh, many, many years ago when I uh, joined the department. And I believe he was also uh, responsible for uh, Professor Swihart, who is our current chair. Mm -hmm. So um, Professor Weber also um, was very generous to me in, in a variety of ways, but uh, not the least of which was bailing me out when my car broke down. He managed to come and, and rescue me. So um, um, it really gives me a lot of pleasure to, um, uh, to acknowledge uh, Professor Weber. And uh, we're grateful to, that we have this award recognizing him. So, of course, getting to the business, uh, the awardee uh, this year of uh, the, uh, the Weber Undergraduate Excellence Award is Nathaniel Swanson. So Nathaniel is uh, really an outstanding, uh, one of our most outstanding seniors. Um, he's done uh, as a lot of accomplishments through his time at UB. He was a chemical engineering intern uh, at Olin Core Alkali Products uh, in Niagara Falls for about 15 months. Uh, he was a student assistant for STEM communications under Professor Amy Baird. Uh, he won the Junior CBE Junior Academic Excellence Award uh, last year from our department, uh, the Rosalind Z. Gammerman Award for Excellence in STEM Communications, uh, the Academic Excellence in Freshman Chemistry at UB. He's a member of the AICHE, the student chapter here. Um, he's also uh, was, in, was inducted into Tau Beta Pi, which is the Engineering Honor Society. After graduation, uh, he's accepted a position uh, with Olin Core Alkali Products uh, in Niagara Falls where his starting role will be in process controls and engineering, which is particularly apt. Uh, we didn't know this when he was selected, but um, this was one of the specializations of Professor Weber. So it's, it's nice to see um, that, that little coincidental connection there. Okay, so as I understand it, we have uh, Professor Weber here. Uh, he um, uh, is able to, to zoom in with us, and I think he might have a few words to say. I do. <laughs> It's a tremendous pleasure for me to be here today, to be invited to talk. It's difficult for me to believe, but in less than two months, I'm going to turn to the age of, everybody guess, 90. Whoa. I can't believe it. I can remember as a child, when I was maybe three or four years old, that uh, I sat around a kitchen table with my, par my parents listening to a crystal set radio. And now I'm sitting in front of my Mac computer. It's hard for me to imagine technology has advanced this much in, well, <laughs> close to 90 years. Um, I was going to, I, I brought along um, something that I wanted to show you, but first of all, I was going to say I came to Buffalo in 1963. Uh, the department had started up under Joe Bergantz uh, about two years before. And they were looking for someone to teach process control. I got the job. I, I would say, uh, it was a very good experience. I was stayed in control the whole time I was here. I think I was the fourth person to be hired. 
I started in Parker Engineering and 15 years later, we came out to the North Campus. <clears throat> I just wanted to provide some perspective about the tools we use to teach engineering. And I have brought some of my friends with me. One of my friends is something my father gave me. He was an engineer in 1918 at the University of Iowa. And all I know was I never saw him pick it up or ever use it, but he just told me there's something that came in handy for multiplying and dividing. Then in 1948, uh, I decided to go to Cornell for chemical engineering. And so my father bought me this log log duplex desitrig slide rule, which uh, kept me in very good stead at Cornell. And then when I was a senior, uh, I must have conned my father and he must have been very gullible but I conned him into buying me this guy. He's, he's really big. Those slide rules got me through 13 years of undergraduate and graduate school. Uh, <laughs> did very well. I used to tell my students that if we had had when I was teaching um, the computational equipment that they have, that I could have gotten through uh, the five-year program and undergraduate training at Cornell in something under two years. So finally, uh, the senior award that was established in my honor by Dr. Mohan Baladia. Unfortunately, he was unable to be here today, so he gave me that wonderful assignment of being linked up with all of you. Thanks very much. Yeah, Tom, it, it's a real pleasure to, to see you, and I'm really glad you were able to join us. Uh, believe it or not, I actually own a slide rule as well. It, this was um, given to me by my brother when I graduated high school. It was just at the time hand calculators were coming out. So in the end, I never had to use it. Um, I, I will add, though, that the, the one thing you may not appreciate is that, you know, for all the, um, the, the wizardry and the great computers and, and everything we have now, we also have great distractions. So, <laughs> so you have to remember, you didn't have the internet uh, pulling you from, from your work all the time. So uh, it takes a lot of willpower and I guess discipline uh, as well these days uh, to, to make sure you use the tools well. But it is remarkable how far we've come, wow. um, you know, just over my lifetime, you know, let alone yours. So, um, I think, uh, yeah, so that, that's, uh, again, the last uh, of the awards. I uh, just managed to switch back to the, um, um, the, the page sort of that you're seeing as well. I'm no longer looking at my notes now, and I was pleased to see that there was a chat going on, and, and you were all sort of going back and forth with each other, and that was, uh, was nice to see. Um, so we, we have as our final slide here, this is sort of impressive slate of um, awardees. Um, uh, again, uh, you know, I, I really believe that chemical engineering is, uh, and if you'll allow me this, you know, really an, an elite major. I mean, it really it takes a lot of um, uh, determination and, and, you know, intelligence and, and discipline and, and, you know, ability to, to make it in, in this. It's a lot of work to do, and the, it's not an easy topic that, that we study. Uh, so I, I really believe all of the students who, who start in our program and, and who continue through it are, are really outstanding. Um, and, you know, I wish I could, could give awards to everybody, but um, it, it, it's nice to, to be able to pick out a few who, who really excelled uh, even in this very difficult um, uh, major as it is. So you have a lot to contribute um, uh, to the future of the world, and I hope you'll use these skills well. Uh, those of you who are graduating now and, and hopefully those of you who are still juniors or earlier are going to be inspired uh, by seeing what um, you know, the upperclassmen, men and women, um, have been doing. 
So I don't know if Professor Swihart wants to, to finish up with a few words or... Um, uh, what I was going to do was just uh, give fair warning and unmute everyone uh, <laughs> so that we might attempt one round of applause. Zoom doesn't like applause. It tries to like filter out and figure out who's clapping the loudest or something and only, only transmit one person. Um, but I think what I'll do is, oh, I need to unspotlight Professor Weber and... If you're doing anything embarrassing, stop it, because I'm going to unmute everybody, only if it <laughs> makes sounds. Um, and then uh, we could perhaps have one round of applause for uh, all of our awardees. All right. Um, I think that's it. Feel free to stay on and, and chat or what have you for a little bit here.